Hi, this is Lance Yoder, and I'm going to talk about using Orange Slice Teacher Rubric. There is now available a student rubric, which students can use in conjunction with the teacher rubric. And so students can even grade as well as teachers, and they can see, the students can see then the combination of their peer reviews as well as their teacher reviews. So I'm looking at the teacher rubric right now. This, what the teacher will need to do is just go to the assignment itself, and they'll see all their students listed, as well as the option to put in the grade in Google Classroom, as well as the assignment right there in Google Classroom. So I'm gonna be, as the teacher here, I'm gonna open up the document, and this is a Google Docs add-on. And so what you'll need to do is when you get into the Google Doc, if you have never added a Google Docs add-on, then you're gonna have to get accustomed to doing this little move here in a little bit. So I'm going to click on add-ons. When I do that, it's going to pop down with a menu and you can get add-ons and you can find orange slice teacher rubric in the add-ons that you can get from there. Okay. I already have it added. As you can see, I even have the student rubric added as well, but we're looking at the teacher rubric today. So I'm going to go ahead and hit score rubric. And what it'll do is it'll open up a menu over on the right hand side. The first thing it's going to ask me to do is kind of set up the rubric here. How do I want it to look as far as the performance levels? It automatically puts a box right here showing the grade options. For this, I'm going to choose great, good, average. And then what you get to do is after you choose the performance levels, which I can bring back if I want to change that, I'm going to select my categories. My categories are what is going to be on the rubric itself. So I can choose ones that are pre-existing here. If I want to customize my own, I can add a blank row myself. So I'm going to choose these few options here. And then that's the customization. Once I have it ready to go, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit create rubric. It's going to take a second to load. And once it's done loading, what it's going to do is it's going to add the rubric right here in this region above the actual work. And there it pops in. So now I have a grade box as well as the rubric itself. Uh, once it's completely finished loading, then what will happen is over here on the right hand side is I get to set the settings for this rubric. Okay, so there we go. My rubric's in, the student's work is still below. They can set the total points here and I'm just gonna set it as 20 just for fun. How many boxes do I have? I have five, so each one would be worth four. Okay, so it sets the category points. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit finish and close. If this happens to you, what you may have to do is set a passing level. Okay. Once the settings are set, then what will happen is I can get a grade box to pop up. As you can see, that changed. Once the settings were set and I had it set up the way I want, now I can start grading. So I can, can choose good for ideas, average for vocabulary, how about great for organization. I'm just putting in some examples here so you have an idea of how it works. And then I'm going to choose good for voice. Once you have that set, then what you can do is you can do great adjustments. If you need to put some extra credit in, late penalty or plagiarized penalty, you can set those as well if need be for the grade adjustments. And I'm going to go ahead and process this grade. Once I process the grade, what will end up happening is it will pop in and highlight the indicators that I chose. And it will also automatically give me a grade. It will say 16 points. All right, and give me an 80%. So now that it's been graded, what I need to do is I can go ahead and close out of this. And what will typically happen here is you can go through all your assignments here. You can click on each student. And when you click on the students, uh, typically what ends up happening is this changes. If I Maybe if I click on the student name, it'll actually change. There it is. So once it changes, then what I can do is I can see the actual grade there. So if I want to make it out of 20 points here, I'm going to update this point value, make it 16. So not only can the students see the grade, but they can also see it here and they can also see their rubric when they open it up. And then when you are finished grading student work, you can return it. They will receive that. They will not only have the score, but they will also have right here a rubric that shows their actual results. 
highlighted with all of those category indicators that you chose on the orange slice teacher rubric. Okay, so that's a little bit about how to use that. To better communicate and give feedback to students, I suggest you try it out. It's pretty slick.